Hey there, it's Mark. This is the last set that I have that Ravensburger sent me to review. Thank you very much, Expansion Volcano. There will be more sets coming out in the fall here in the United States. In Europe, they have some sets that we don't even have. I had to order some so that I can review them. They'll be coming in, who knows, two to four weeks. Expansion Volcano. In that set, all you get is the volcano. And then the typical track, you get one long, two medium, three short. See the marbles? This set does not include marbles. The colored marbles, you can get them in the starter set because that set includes the magnetic cannon. You get the magnetic cannon, three marbles, and go. Oh, silly. It would help if you have it set up ready to go. Go. <laughs> hey. Where's my landing pad? Come on! Oh, you call yourself a professional? Ta-da! So this is one of the sets that will allow multi-marble action. The starter set includes this. If you notice, it's kind of like that, to where three marbles come out of three positions. With this one, you push this down, and then the marble will shoot out. You see me do that right now. I can have one there. I can have one there, one there. And then you have three tracks to go. It won't launch because I need another marble right there. So this is just like that, multi-marble. Oh, yeah, if you want silver marbles, you get, I think, three silver marbles with the starter set. With lifter, is it called lifter? Yeah, the lifter extension, you get seven silver marbles. One, two, three, four. Oops, four, five, six, seven. Uh, by the way, you get another piece up here. I only put one of the uh, extension tubes. You actually get two. Another multi-marble stunt is tip tube. It's looking right at you. It's kind of hard to tell what it looks like. But yeah, tip tube goes on the side. And then when the marbles fill up, then it tips. Hence the name tip tube. I thought I'd share a tip for tip tube. When you, lock, when you load tip tube, something I noticed, you want your marbles to be going with a bit of speed and see how it loads up. And then it tips. Uh, I couldn't get mine to work properly and then I was practicing. How come it's not working properly? Well, I figured it out. Let me get this right here, a little uh, loading area. Is that correct? Uh, we're just going to go with it. If I do this to where I set it here, it's still one space away, right? One, two, one, two. It's the same. But when it goes through this tight curve right here, it slows the marble down. And guess what? I think that's one reason why it doesn't fill up properly. Even if I load up from way back here. Same distance away. One, two, one, two. But... When you do it this way, they go. I think the marbles are going faster, and it definitely loads up the tip tube better. See what I mean? One, two, three, launch. You might have noticed there's green right there instead of the gray or black of the normal tiles. Well, yeah, the green one I got with the trampoline, and the reason is is because it has special angled pieces. Let me pick it up. These are angled. See how it's angled like that? So this way, when I came out of here, I can angle the marbles right into right, right into wherever I want it to go. I might not have needed to use it. I put a regular one underneath. I just want to make sure there's enough speed coming from here to here to get the marbles over here. Let's see. Load, two. Yeah, it would have worked anyways. Different parts for different stunts. So with this one, well, let's just open it. I'll show you. This is this is better than the start because you don't have to stick your hand out to start it. You actually use another marble to launch the three marbles. There you go. Yep, there you go. Ready to go. Pre-built, ready to go. There you go. Standard track. One long, two medium, three short. Here is an image of the part itself. That's just like the box art. 
And sure enough, see, that's all you get. Let's take a look on the back. First thing you do is push down the middle to engage it. Then you load three marbles, and then you're ready to race. Below that they show you roll one marble into the trigger switch, and it's gonna hit it, and the marbles will launch. Here's the two examples that they give for the set. Remember, you have to get the starter set. All you get is that thing right there. You only get the volcano. Otherwise, you have to have the starter set to do the rest. And for example B, for you to set up with enough parts, there's a look at that. Here's a close-up. I said to push this. Oh yeah, when I pushed it down, it stayed down. And see this button? You can push this or another marble you can have launch and hit this button. Boing! Let's try it again. Load it up. Lock. One, two, three, launch. If you've been following along with my reviews, you know I have this little hill set up and then I've been modifying it for different reviews. So I still am using it. I've just changed a few things. Check it out. Tip tube. I have tip tube right there. But over here, I added a volcano right there. And my marble is going to come down from this launch. Going to hit the trigger. And then I have three paths. One, two, and then the third goes around like this. All three come here to load the tip tube. And the third one should cause that to tip over. And then they'll come down this path right here. I have this other path. This one is just a simple, just feed it and let them go. Oh. It's all loaded up. Here we go. Come on down. What do you call this? A train? A snake? Hey, check it out. I made one more marble run. You know, I start at the top over here on the left. This time, I'm just going over into that corner. I have a switch. So right now, the switch is for it to come back here. And there it is. There's the volcano. It's going to explode into this section here. It will have three different paths. They're all going to join again right there. And they have their own marble maze path to get to the finish. When the switch moves, the marble is going to come down the right. Check it out. I used that Bernoulli drop that I got from the witch set. Mm, tunnels. Came from the tunnels. So it will go off the edge into a loop. It's going to come across. And there's a tunnel. It's going to go off the edge of the plate right there. And then come underneath. And it, where is it? Where is it? It's in there somewhere. There's a path underneath, and it's going to come around this side and then come into the winner's circle. I'm just putting one because this one is going to the volcano. You notice the switch has moved, so now the marble is going to go around the outside of that path. It's time for that big Bernoulli drop going into a loop. Set, go. Not quite all the way. I'm sure you figured it out. When you have a marble go to the volcano, that's now a dead end. You know what I want to do? I want to take out that switch. And instead of this part, I want to put a tip tube, attach a piece of track, 
Put in a couple marbles. Oh, you gotta go in. Oh, do you know why? Did you guess? Do you have an idea? I wanna send three marbles down the Bernoulli drop into that loop. Here I go, load the third marble, and we're off. Well, that didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped. I'm just going to drop them onto a landing pad. One, two, three, go. One more time with the colored marbles. Oh yeah. Thank you for watching and thank you to Ravensburger. Happy building. Bye bye.